Well, as India enters its 14th day of the lockdown, the total COVID cases in India stands at around 4,421. A total of uh, 325 cases have seen a recovery, though the death toll now stands at around 114. We have been assessing the impact of the lockdown on various sectors and to discuss what's the impact on logistic players, we have uh, Mr. Uh, Shashi Kiran Shetty, the founder and chairman of All Cargo Logistics. Um, hi, Mr. Shetty, thanks so much for joining in. Well, tell us, uh, you know, uh, what is the impact as of now, if you could quantify it, if you'll have done some rough math in terms of financial impact, and how soon do you, do you, uh, you know, envisage a kind of recovery? First quarter gets totally washed out? No, I'll break it down into, uh, into three segments of our business, primarily. Our global business, uh, you know, quite uh, surprisingly has held on very well. Okay. We have uh, we are almost uh, same levels of our volumes of last year, which means the profitability will be very similar. So that is a great relief. Mm -hmm. And uh, going forward also, because what has happening is, you know, when China was not uh, doing well, uh, we have a lot of bookings coming from uh, Europe and America and India. And uh, that quite a lot, uh, you know, subsided the pressure. And then, uh, as these countries are now are a little bit in a trouble, uh, now we have uh, China back back on uh, back on the reckoning, and many of the other uh, Southeast Asian economies. Mm. So uh, so far so good. Our FCL volume is also very strong. Mm -hmm. um, so in April, I think, but, but we will see some impact. Uh, that is one part on the international business that is uh, under the brand of EQ Worldwide. As regards to the India business, our CFS volumes have been very strong. Uh, our uh, CFS are, as a matter of fact, completely chock a block with containers because containers are not getting clear. Mm. Uh, so, so we are making arrangement for new locations within uh, our uh, other premises to store these loaded containers. Mm -hmm. Which means, uh, uh, you know, obviously the earning uh, out of those containers will be quite strong in the coming months because uh, there will be more uh, ground rental that we'll be able to. Recover. Obviously, we're going to be softer, right. but uh, but uh, the income from CFS is going to be very strong, which has been strong already, and it will continue to remain strong. Our equipment rental business uh, in the first quarter did very well, also, and we had a 90% plus uh, yeah. capacity utilization. And now, unfortunately, the customers have put them on all on notice. Almost uh, uh, a very small percentage of equipments are working today. But uh, we are contemplating whether this force major can be applicable to the crane rental business because normally they are on long term. Mm. As regards to our logistics spark business, uh, 3 million square feet are already leased out to large entities and uh, you know they are operating in the warehouses. So there is no question of the moving out of those uh, uh, rented facilities. So mm. that is quite all right. Okay. So as far as uh, our group is concerned, I don't see much impact uh, whatsoever so far. But there may be some impact in the coming uh, months, uh, which I believe is going to be in the range of 10 to 15 percent or so. Uh, so that's what I foresee. As regards right. to our acquisition of Gati, uh, obviously uh, Gati uh, being the domestic uh, express company has an impact. Uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, most of the business are now uh, standstill. Uh, we do last mile deliveries uh, of essential commodities. But as all of you know that the government has now opened uh, uh, essential and non-essential movement to start. But uh, the problem we have is to mobilize the drivers. Otherwise, people are ready. Uh, our people are working from home. Um, we have a good IT system for people to make sure that they do what they can from the office almost. And we have a crisis management team which is uh, uh, meeting every day on phone, video conferences and being on top of uh, what is going on um, and we obviously made quite a bit effort to reduce the cost uh, within the organization and uh, you know trying to see how best we can uh, uh, go through this crisis uh, uh, without much impact on the company. Uh, Gati will definitely have some cash flow impact in the, in the month of May because the revenues are low. Um, so that's something we'll have to deal with. Uh, but uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the curfew uh, with the essential commodities, non-essential now, are allowed to be moved freely within the country. Uh, you know, once that gets going, uh, that they should be back on track. 
All right, Mr. Shetty, you know, if you could uh, give us some more details on Gathi. After the open offer, what is your stake in Gathi right now? Are you looking to take it to majority stake? That is one. And secondly, you said that you are looking at implementing the force majeure clause for all your long-term rent agreements uh, with regards to your equipment business. Could that not be the case for all the other people who have, uh, you know, lease space at your container freight st stations, etc. And that could impact your inflow then? Um, first of all, Gati, we are currently at about 47 percent, and um, yeah, I mean there, there there is a possibility of that as well. What you said on the force major, uh, but we'll have to um, look at that case to case uh, because we have uh, hundreds and thousands of customers. It's not one large contract in the CFS business, right? There's more retail. Uh, that may be a little difficult, um, but uh, nevertheless, you know, our our intention is to. Uh, you know, uh, recover whatever the rightful dues uh, that 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 we are we should be able to recover. So that's that's normal course of business, right? All right. Uh, thanks so much, Mr. Shetty, for stopping by and, in fact, giving us uh, your quick take in terms of an impact. Global business not so badly impacted. India could see a bit of a slowdown in terms of their business. And the coming couple of months could be a little bit challenging as well. Well, that's all we have uh, on Chartbusters. So we'll wrap up uh, on that note. You stay tuned. Trading Hour comes up next.